Hello and welcome to another episode of Both Sides and I and all the way from Strabane I have on the sofa with me today the lovely Lauren Bird. Lauren, very welcome. Thanks for having me. It's been a while since I've been in I'm Belfast. Gonna, I was going to say, <laughs> welcome back. I know, it's been a while. It's really been a while since I've been up this far. Like. Yeah, because you recorded uh, your album with us here many years ago, is that now? It came out in 2017. No way. It did. Is that how long ago that so was? So I'd say it was probably 2016, <coughs> 2017. I was in here constantly for like months. Um, I can't believe it's that long ago. I'm 30 now. No way. Yeah, so there you go. And so tell us what <laughs> happened. Uh, 2017, album came out. I remember the launch. Mm -hmm. What happened after that? I mean, it was like super exciting for a while after that, for sure. Like we did the album launch in uh, Belfast and sold out. Yeah. And then we did one in Strabane as well, in my local theatre, which almost sold out, which I'm raging about because I, I wanted to be like, I sure, sold that out too. Yes. Um, I even did like played atop of like the oh, OES yeah, Centre roof for yes. like... Like, it was great. Um, and then I just went back to being quiet, uh, as I do. Um, but that's what happens in music. You bring yeah. something out, it's all fabulous. I know. You're and just then way like, down you go. And then you think you're rubbish. Oh, um, my. You know, and then you're looking at everybody else, and they're doing great things. But mm. it's just smoke and, and, and mirrors. Yeah, social, social media, media. that for you, for sure. Totally, you know, because um, you need to have a queer thick hide to be mm -hmm. in this game, don't you? Absolutely. And another job helps because you're not going to make any money. Yeah, that's 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 it. Especially, like especially when a global pandemic happens, being self-employed is not the way. No, it's uh, not the way. It's definitely not the way. And so about the pandemic and stuff, mm -hmm. did you find yourself writing, not writing? Because I've had a 50, fix, 50 mix. I, it's it's weird. I mean, I had started recording an EP, um, just in my friend's apartment, like late 2019, with the anticipation of releasing it early 2020. Um, and then obviously March came around yeah. and we were a bit like, oh, what's going to happen? And actually, I think I was supposed to be down here that March right, as well. Right, right. Um, and then uh, we were a bit like, oh, I don't know. And then we just left it. Um, and then, so it was kind of the one good thing was that I'd already recorded like all of the main parts okay. from EP. So I was able, me and my friend Darren basically were mixing it on Zoom because we were doing everything on Zoom sure. at that point. Um, so... I, w I had that like creative outlet that way that I was still making something um, and then my friend Michael like recorded the drums remotely from his house and stuff so it was like we were able to do it all no, by proxy I mm -hmm. um, exactly uh, but I wasn't really writing much because well I mean everything I write is always a bit depressing like but I think <laughs> I think no one needed more depression during the pandemic like no one needed to be reminded especially that you <laughs> I know I was like I just like it was so funny because I the EP I wrote was about how I'd finally conquered depression like I was like I've done it I did it I'm feeling great now and then I was like all oh, right I can't leave my house now Absolutely. okay cool uh, oh and away you go again oh the yeah. irony like literally Alanis Morissette like you know uh, honest to god I was exactly exactly same. I didn't write a thing I haven't wrote mm. a thing I, haven't, I still haven't wrote a thing I, you know but then you're starting like do I know anymore can it's I write that, anymore absolutely. like it's, it's it, you uh, do have a real crisis oh you I, know but the beauty about it is every single person that has come in here has told me exactly exactly yeah, the yeah. same thing mm -hmm. no matter where they come from who they are what age they are it doesn't matter every single person has exactly right. the same story and i know there's a lot of songwriters and budding songwriters who watch this program mm -hmm. and it is something that is just par for the course if you're going to go down yeah. this route yeah mm -hmm. and i think it's, it's that thing of remembering that it will come back eventually always comes back um as because i think sometimes what i always find is the more i start to think about how i'm not writing that's when i just freak out and never write anything whereas sometimes then i'll just be like doing something and and it pops you know so my own mommy used to say um you know don't ever go looking for love once <laughs> once once you go looking for it they can really smell it that's off yeah i mean that's a song lyric yeah you could <laughs> you go, go looking for love oh, there you go next single <laughs> co-write co-write co oh, absolutely <laughs> <clears throat> so Lauren, the song, uh, the show is about obviously mm -hmm. the stories behind the songs, yeah. the stories that we don't always get to tell, maybe mm -hmm. don't want to tell, there's not time to tell. Yeah. Um, so tell us the name of the song and then tell us the story behind this wee song. First of all, has anyone ever been like, I don't want to discuss what the song's about? No, well then there wouldn't really be <laughs> I on the show. I don't be like, no, there's no story. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> this song, uh, the song I'm going to play is called Keep Trying. Um, it's off my The Farewell EP, which was uh, saying farewell to depression, ha ha ha. Um, definitely didn't have to up my meds during the pandemic. Um, but, uh, this song I wrote kind of like, um, I was thinking a while a lot cause I teach a lot of like young kids now and I, sure. um, I see a lot of young girls and the pressure that I think you sort of see them, especially when you're teaching, like I teach kind of like from P5 to P7, sometimes into first, second year. And you see such a major shift in confidence, like the, like the older they get. 
Um, and I was thinking a lot about that and I was thinking a lot about like how I felt as a, a teenager and how I did not want anyone to look at me like I didn't want to be like I mean I didn't start playing music till I was 21 because yes. I just did not want to be in the center of, like, I didn't right. want to talk I didn't yes, want anyone yes. to think about me um, and so I was kind of writing about that and also then just imagining what it would be like being a teenager now with as we talked about the social horrendous. media yeah 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 absolutely horrendous yeah. like you couldn't pay me no. to go back as much as I'm like having that that like oh my god I'm 30 like you couldn't pay me to be 20 again even like this no of it. I totally agree with that <sighs> like and then with again the I, hair and makeup alone oh my god I don't understand it like I'm like I have spots I cover them I don't understand like all the like co- like I don't and then they're like 13 and they know how to do it and you're like I know I'm, I'm, I'm I know. not a human being um so I thought I thought a lot about that and just you know gender roles, gender conforming, what's expected of women, what's expected of men, that kind of thing, um, and kind of wrote that kind of kind of uh, to my teenage self, but also kind of taken into account how much worse it is now, because we used to compare ourselves to magazines, whereas now that's right. they're comparing themselves to like every single person they ever see online. Every second um, that's, for instant gratification. Exactly, and we all knew airbrush was a thing for yeah. magazines, whereas I think people don't realise how filtered so many photos are and yeah. their favourite celebrities. It's funny, my stuff. friends were, were on a WhatsApp group, and uh, one of my friend's daughters is 18, mm-hmm. and uh, she was going to, or having her 18th birthday party, uh-huh. and it was full of her makeup, formal dress, back mm-hmm. Ground balloons from here, and so <clears throat> my friend then put her 18th. <laughs> we don't even have lipstick on. I mean, we literally did that and then went out, you know. And, uh, and, and I, but I have to say, honestly, I looked at the two photos and I much preferred her than to this over made up sort of I, thing because she had personality, she had character, you see a lovely smile, you know. So you have to wonder, you know, I know it's either you do see like everybody <coughs> starts to look a little bit the same, yeah. Um, and I think it's sad. Sometimes, however, again, sometimes you just see kids that are just completely themselves, and I just get so happy just when I rocking. see them. I'm just like, good for you. Just rocking, absolutely. Um, I mean, as her. I say, I didn't want anyone to look at me for my teenage years. Yeah, so like, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> no, no I, was, I was very much a tomboy, sort of yeah, Dr. Martin type um, thing, you know. So did my own thing anyway. Yeah. Didn't really care. Yeah. Right. So, are you going to belt her out for us? We'll give it a go anyway. Again, if it's bad, I'm blaming that I had COVID two weeks ago. So, right. You know, vocally, just, just way, not uh, vocally, I'm just I. Thanks very much, looking forward to this. Don't look at yourself today unless you like how it feels. Don't compare yourself today, you won't like how it feels. Cause every day Another, yeah, every day You're smothered by all the reasons To not get out of bed Don't judge yourself today You won't like how it feels Don't read those magazines Your self-loathing is their sale Every day, another, yeah, every day, you're smothered by all the things that you're supposed to be. Can you be pretty? Can you be smart? But not that smart, like you're trying hard. Can you be handsome? Can you be strong? Don't show emotion, can't you play along? Don't be bossy and don't be loud Sit in the corner, but please don't frown Take it from here, boy, speak your truth Everyone is in this room for you, girl Speak when you're spoken to Speak when you're spoken to Speak when you're spoken to I won't be spoken to by anyone who doesn't believe that every day another yeah every day you're smothered by all the things that are impossible to be at once 
impossible, impossible, impossible to be at once. Thank you so much. No I was a teenage girl. I would just love that song. Uh, you know, well, you'd just so, be in your bedroom, wouldn't you? Just giving because I grew up with her. Well, not to grow up with her, but I remember it in sort of like early twenties and stuff. The Alanis Morissette sort of coming out revolutionary for me. It was oh, just I, really it was punch revolutionary in the face. for me when my aunt gave it to me like ten yeah. years after. <laughs> yeah, it was a big punch in yeah. the face, and you know that. You can see your influence in you, mm. like, and oh god, that was really, really lovely. Thanks, Lauren. <laughs> Thank you. And thanks for coming the whole way down. Ah, here, the anytime. Papyrus, um, anytime. Where can people find you if they are looking for you? Um, Spotify. Um, get me that zero zero point one p or whatever yeah. for a stream. Absolutely. Um, get me there. Lauren Bird Music on Twitter. Lauren Bird Music on Instagram. The Facebook hackers deleted my Facebook, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> it's good. gone forever. So um, on a website, LaurenBirdMusic.com. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming in. No worries. Lovely to see you again. And hopefully we'll see you soon. I hopefully. So that's us for today, folks. Um, join us again on the next episode of Both Sides Now, where we'll have another great gal telling a great story. See you then.